Hey guys, it's Toxic Panda Girl here, and before this video starts, I just want to say that this video is going to be broken down into many, many parts. Um, pretty much all I'm doing is explaining everything for those current and new players who have no idea about Lumber Tycoon and what it does. So if you're a little confused on when it starts and I start saying, alright, so the next thing is this, that is why I have the same intro and the same outro to every video so yeah I hope you guys enjoy the video and hey guys it's toxic panda girl here and today I'm gonna be bringing you guys some tips and some questions that you guys have about lumber tycoon 2 now what I'm going to be doing is just going through this is for kind of new people who have never played this game or maybe current players who didn't know certain things. All right. so another question that I seen frequently asked in comment sections is where do you get the lights from? How do you light up your base? How do you toggle the light to turn on? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys to where to get the lights. And where you go is Woods R Us. Sorry if it's a little laggy. There's a guy that's up there that has a huge base. But what you do is you come here. And right here are the lights. They're like $80. So you just pick them up. Take them over to Thom here, and I'm just chilling on the counter. <laughs> you buy them, you can either carry them, purchase them. They're really not that much. Put them in the back of your vehicle or just walk to where you have them. Doesn't really matter where you put them. And back up or drive forward to your base. And what you want to do when you get to your base is you want to put them in a place where you're gonna need it so for instance I'm gonna open the box and on the left it will show you how to rotate and all that drop it and you have to get on it just right where it says toggle light so you can see in the left hand corner it says toggle light you click it light and it'll turn on and voila some of your base is lit up um, I like to face it towards the wood so I can see the wood you know you it's getting to be daylight so it's not really that effective what is that guy doing? Why do people do that? Watch this. <laughs> that's how you get rid of people, guys, when they do that. Fucker. <laughs> but yeah, that's how you get lights. Alright, so this next question that I see a lot is, How to get lava wood and what truck to use to get lava wood? I suggest you use your small truck or your medium truck. It really don't matter, and all you're going to do is make your way up this pathway here, and this guy has a really nice base. Wow. Really nice, dude. But anyway, you will just literally follow this path all the way up the mountain, so I'll catch you guys there when I have actually arrived at the area. Alright, so here's the entrance to the volcano, so you're going to go in it, and... As you'll know, up in the right-hand corner, your health will start going down. Now, you want to stay along the left-hand side, but not too far, otherwise you'll fall off. And literally, the boulders will come down, and they won't go on this side. So, if you stay on the left-hand side, you're good. And the reason why I say bring up your small log truck is because if you bring up your big one and you slow down, you'll get stuck. Now here's the lava wood itself, and I don't have any axe on me, I actually dropped my axe down there in case I died, but all you do is you take your lava axe and you just chop this wood down, and you pick it up, so you'd pick it up and throw it over the edge of this mountain, and it'll literally land down there somewhere, um, it won't go off the side unless you throw it far. Now. The tricky part is getting back down this mountain because these things will stay where they were and you want to stick close to the edge of course but with a smaller vehicle such as the smallest one you can fit through these little cracks and creases between the um, boulders and you want to be careful going downhill because if your truck if the lobby's glitchy or your truck's glitchy you will die and fall into the lava pit so um, I just got hit by a boulder, as you guys can see. Um, but 
if you get stuck, make sure you're just close to the wall because the other boulders will come down and run into it. But that's literally how you do that. I have to pick up my axe here. But that is just literally how you go up and down the mountain all the time. Just make sure you stay close to the wall when you get down towards the end so you don't, so a boulder doesn't knock you off into the lava. Alright, so some of you guys are probably wondering how to access the ferry the right way. Now, the right way and the proper way to get on the ferry, and you can take any truck, i just proven the fact that you can because of the big truck here. You just drive it on, and you get off, you go up and talk to the captain, and he'll talk to you, and you say, I'll buy a ticket, it's $400 for a ticket, so you'll need a total of 800 if you're going over and back. And then you can ask him, when do you next run? Seven minutes, zero seconds. So it's literally like a seven minute wait. So you'll be waiting for like seven minutes in here. Find something to do. Set a timer so you know when. And pay attention to that sign that says remain seated. When you're on this, you do not want to be standing when it's moving. You don't want to be in the back of your truck. You don't want to be up here with him. And the reason for that is because you'll fall in the water and die and lose everything that you have. So you want to just sit in your truck and wait patiently for him to start going, find something to do, and wait. And do not, I repeat, do not bring on a trailer. The trailers will glitch you out when it moves and your truck and you will go flying. So you'll be screwed, you'll be dead no matter what. So just come on here with your truck of your choice and go to the other island. Alright, so the ferry is moving, and as you can see, it's very laggy when it moves. You can't move. I'm pressing forward on the button and backwards. You're pretty much just stuck in one place, and that's saving your life from just flying into the abyss of water because there's no way you can get there, and then these little islands that are over there, they have palm trees on them. You currently have no way of getting to them, which sucks. But hopefully he does something about that. But I'll catch you guys back when I'm on the other side of the world. So once you are here, you just literally back up off the ferry. And there will be this road that you will take. Now, this is getting into the secret kind of little area. Like shops, I should say. Not areas, but shops. And if you follow this road all the way back, there is a little shop back here. As you guys can see, it's called Lynx Logic. This here does sell some pretty cool stuff, but I thought I'd just show you guys this area for like the little secret shops that are here, which is really cool. Um, the stuff is very expensive in here, so I suggest you guys come over here with a lot of money before you think about buying any of this stuff. So. Yeah, that's one of the secret little area, like, shops you can find. Alright guys, so another little secret shop that probably none of you guys know about, or I'm sure you current players know about it, but you newer players probably have no idea. So what you can do is you could drive this way, and you can drive on the grass, you can follow this path, you don't have to follow this path. You can go whatever way you want, you can go around the furniture store, whatever you feel like doing, because you can fit back there, and you just drive this way, and then back here, there is a little shack, and in the shack, the things you can buy, this is also where they have, like, secret stuff here, um, this is Bob's shack, um, they did have an eyeball up here, but that was just for Halloween, they had a pumpkin sitting over here that you could buy, and... This is a can of worms and then TNT, so TNT, which is dynamite also. So I'm just going to buy some dynamite. This is, this is Bob here. Yes, I would like to take it. So I bought some dynamite and I'm going to just put it in the back of my truck. So that is one of the secret areas. The other area I already showed you, Link's Logic, that area and these are the only those are the only two shops that I know about I don't know if there's any other ones but these are the only two I know about so 
Yeah. Hope you guys absolutely. enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like down below. Comment if you wish. And subscribe if you're new. Hope you guys have an awesome day. And peace out.